Most people think about art as objects, that you, you put something in a gallery, like a sculpture or a painting. But for us, art is systems, that we're creating systems. AR is almost like a layer of magic on top of the reality. I would say that we are artists that work with software and hardware. We work with technology, but to make artistic expression. He asked me to work on a project with him. And for some reason, he always asked me to work on a project at a bar. <laughs> and the project never happened, but then... Okay. <laughs> I personally love things I can touch. So I love working with hardware, I love electronics. I have a lot of patience with debugging like a hardware problem. And Zach is kind of the contrary. He is really good at software and software debugging. When there's an integration coming in, we both are doing kind of what we like. I really want to find a way to visualize emotions so other people can understand how a person is feeling and to have some kind of empathy if they can see the emotions being visualized. So this app that can actually visualize your speech based on the volume and how many words you speak and how fast you speak it. And it's almost like an audio visualization turned into a mask that obscures your face. <laughs> really like to do weird stuff, especially with the face, like cut parts of the face, take the eyes, extend them out, like really kind of play with the face and then use that almost as a kind of mask, like take your left and your right eye, create a crown of them around your head and then use that to hide your identity. We've been experimenting a lot with space, you know, using AR to put things in 3D space, like put images or video or sound. And type was a natural progression in that, those experimentations. What does it mean to put words in space? So Weird Type is an AR app that you can install on your phone and it allows you to write text and then place that text in 3D space so that you can write a message and you can place it and as you move, the type can change or animate, but it really is like floating in the air. Momo and I have just been just experimenting and playing with AR, making these weird, you know, expressions in the studio and posting them online. It's so nice to actually have something that we can give to people, that people can, people can try and they can have the same sort of joy that we've been having. So these technologies are already out there, face tracking, you know, these computer vision techniques, these machine learning techniques there are out there. And what we're trying to do is appropriate them and use them for artistic, for creative expression, and also to suggest we can use them in completely different ways, in ways that governments are not intending and companies are not intending, but artists can sort of suggest different possible futures.